I was just miserable. And it's like, I was not sick. I, you know, I was not hungry. I was not homeless. And it's like, for a man, for a man, I'm crying. Like, Yay! I'm crying for, it was not my husband. It was barely my boyfriend. So it's like, what? I'm crying because of man. Hey, hey. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Yetunde. I hope you guys are well. Hope you are doing good. I hope you are feeling bright and lovely on this St. Valentine's Day. And ain't Valentine's, it's Valentine. Valentine. I've been hearing Valentine's. What is the val what is Valentine? Anyway, happy Valentine's Day, guys. Hope you are well. Today, you know, I just want to get into it a little bit because I know some people, they start to feel a bit of a way when Valentine's Day is knocking. It's one of those things that you kind of feel like, oh, when you like, you know, as a, as a, as a when I was a single sister, I was like, oh, you ain't got a man. You know, a lot of people, you know, like I know a lot of girls, like, because I'm a girl, cause I'm, so I can only say from a girl's perspective that will kind of feel, you kind of feel like, oh, you know, maybe you, know, you, know, you don't have a man, maybe you're just feeling like, oh, this day should just come and go because whatever. And you know, honestly, I get it. I get it because I've been there. I, I understand, I understand. So I'm not even, I'm not here to blame you. I'm not here to try to inspire, to perspire, to respire for you, no. I'm not here to, I'm not here to BS you, right? I'm just here to kind of let you know that you're not on, you're not on your own. And I get it. Like sometimes it can, when you're seeing all the couples and, you, and I don't know me and my husband, we do it all the time. Like, oh, we're all so lovely and loving and it, it's so lovely. You guys are, oh, I want this as well. You can, you can feel some type of way and that's normal. But I really want you girls to know that it's not that deep. <laughs> when I say that it's not that deep is that yes, being in love is amazing. And you know, having someone to share your life with is a beautiful thing. But marriage is work as well. And you know, and I know some people be like, oh, when you're married, you become a, a married, a, what's the expert? I'm not an expert, but I will tell you that it's, it's, it's work. And I'm, I'm privileged to be in love with my life partner. And, and I'm thankful to God for that. But in the same breath, I want you to know that it's okay to be single on Valentine's Day. And why I say this is because sometimes some people are literally putting themselves in, into a nonsense, into a rubbish, into a not, a, some, not a very good something because they want to feel loved on Valentine's Day. Because they wanna, like, even, like I, I even know of like some girls back in the day that they must have a man on Valentine's, they must have that, as in that, that Valentine's Day, even if they don't have a man for that 364 days, for that one day, they must have a man. And they must have gift, they must, you know, they want to feel that that day, because you know, it's like, I guess, you know, with all the holiday, whatever, hubbub, hullabaloo or whatever, that, you know, there's a lot of like pressure on that day to be the day that, oh my gosh, you know, I'm feeling the most loved and, you know, everyone wants to share their gifts on Instagram. You know, look at my roses. Oh, my man took me to this place. It was so wonderful. You know, all those things are great. But you don't, but when you're looking at that girl that is getting all these things, you don't know, number one, you don't know what, you know, what the, you don't really know what the tea is. You don't really know what the relationship is really like. Some people are even side chick and you don't, they don't even know that they're side chick. The one that you're even looking at, you're thinking, oh, I wish I, I wish I had that. It could be a side chick. Or, you know, you're, you're, you're desiring some, something that you don't even know how real it is. And maybe it is, it is real, but you will have your own. Why do you need to desire somebody else's? And why does it have to be on Valentine's Day? Like, heck, why is it that it's only love 
that is celebrated for one day in a whole year. That's why this world is so crazy because people only celebrate it one day a year. Nah, come on. Love should be every day. And again, like, it's not just about loving on somebody else. Sometimes you gotta love yourself. Like, I say this because, whew, you know sometimes when you just, you know, you have to question yourself like, do you, do I love me? Do I really love myself? Because it's like, I just allow things to just happen. Like you just, you know, just somebody can be talking to you anyhow or doing anyhow, doing you shakara anyhow, and you put yourself in that position and you'd be like, do I really love myself? And I say this because when I look back, like the first, my, my first real Valentine's Day was with my husband. Before that, I haven't, I never had Valentine's Day. And, but I can say one of the worst Valentine's Day that I've ever had <laughs> was, you know, it was, you know, with an ex and, I really, like that day, I, let me not lie to you, it was the first time I had ever shared Valentine's, like I was looking forward to Valentine's Day, it was the first time ever. Like I'd never been, I'd never been in a relationship <laughs> on Valentine's Day. For those of you that are, are, are in that boat, I feel you. I'd never received flower. <laughs> I'd never received flowers. Uh -uh. I'd never even received chocolates. Anyway, I'd never received any gifts of any kind on Valentine's Day. So like, I, you know, I'd never had a Valentine's Day and you know, like I just, so that, that particular day, I was really looking forward to it. Like I was, I had put everything, everything onto that person that ex I was expecting. I treated him like, as if it was in Jesus, huh? Child. I was expecting like it was God that, ah, that day will be sweet. And I was let down. Like Valentine's day was canceled. He told me that he was not able to even see me. Like I was crying for like the whole morning. Like I was so sad and I didn't even get, I didn't get no gift. <laughs> I spent it with my friend and her then boyfriend. And when I look back, because now I have like the best Valentine's Day ever. I'm like, I'm not even trying to make y'all feel bad or anything, you know. Like, I, you know, I've got a good man and, I, and I'm thankful to God for that. And I have the best Valentine's, like most days anyway, feel like Valentine's Day. It's not just one day. My husband is a great husband and I'm thankful to God for that. And I'm, you know, I think I'm a great wife too. You know, I'm trying. But um, I wish that like, you know, hindsight is a real something, is a real something that, so sometimes you wish that you could go back in time and do things differently. I really wish that I didn't spend that Valentine's Day, half of it crying. And, and I wish that I didn't intrude on my friends, oh, Fatty and Antonio. <laughs> on, on their Valentine's Day, they were so gracious to spend it with me and, you know, and without complaint. But I wish that I really spent that time loving on myself. Like, you can't do this single life again. You just can't, like, <laughs> I always say that when I look back, I feel like I really enjoyed my single day. So I don't even look back. I don't feel any kind of way. I don't miss like what I used to do them days because I feel like I really enjoyed my single days. So I, but you know, there's some days like that particular Valentine's day that could have been spent better because sometimes you just, you're focusing on the wrong things. And I was focusing on somebody else being my happiness or making me happy. Whereas, you know, really, all I had to do was choose to be joyful. Like I had to, you know, you know you can choose to be happy regardless of your situation. And that day I did not choose, I did not choose joy. I was just miserable. And it's like, I was not sick. I, you know, I was not hungry. I was not homeless. And it's like, for a man, for a man, I'm crying. Like I'm crying for, it was not my husband. It was barely my boyfriend. So it's like, what? I'm crying because of man. Hey, hey, please do not cry because of, don't, especially when the man is not even worth your tears, please do not cry. Or even the woman, if they're not worth your tears, please do not, don't waste your days pondering on and, and hoping for something. You need to make the most of your days. Enjoy it, enjoy it to the, and enjoy it to the fullest. Like no matter what your expectation was, I feel like disappointment is really, it really comes from focusing so much energy and putting or, or putting so much trust into man, not necessarily a man or a woman, but like putting so much eff emphasis on that, that person is trying to make me happy. Your joy shouldn't come from anybody else, right? It should, it should, it comes from God. That's number one. And you are the one that chooses to be joyful or not. If you're crying that whole day, that's because you have chosen to be sad. That's it. Nobody has forced you. You have now chosen to be sad. And that's, and that's just the bottom line. Like I look back and I think that 
you know, I really enjoyed my single days and I'm thankful. But I think back, you know, like for the days that I wasted wishing for something more and waiting and hoping, it was, they were, they were a bit wasted to me, like, and it was unnecessary. And also again, Valentine's Day is not just for lovers, like, you know, what's it called? Non-platonic, what's the opposite of non-platonic? What's, what's the opposite of platonic? Anyway, Valentine's Day is not just for lovers. Like, it's also for friends. Galentines. Have a Galentine's Day with your fr with your girlfriends. Have a bro... I don't know if that... Does that work with guys? <laughs> a bro anyway, have a, have a time... Spend time with your, with your friends. Spend time with your, with your parents. With your siblings. Like, love on them. Like, that love can never die. Do you understand? So it's like, why invest in surface love when you can invest in real love? You know what I'm saying? And when the time comes, for your knight in shining armor, not shiny plastic, <laughs> or your beautiful queen to come round, then eh, hey, you can't really enjoy your Valentine's forever and ever and ever and ever. Hallelujah and amen. So yeah, I just want to encourage you guys that Valentine's Day is a beautiful day, but that's not the only day that for us to celebrate love. We can celebrate love every single day. And you shouldn't feel bad because of what you're seeing on social media. Because honestly, if there's no social media, you would not even know what anybody is doing. Everybody loves to show what they're doing on Valentine's Day, especially. It's like, oh my God. And sometimes people get it for themselves. Yeah. Not every, like, if I, I can buy roses for myself, I'd be like, oh my gosh, look what he got me. Like, oh my God. But don't believe everything that you see and don't feel bad for things that you do see. Even whether it's real or not, enjoy just be happy for people and also love on yourself, you know? Pick your toenails, wash your hair, uh, what's it called? Order food and just chill and relax and be taken care of. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did like this video, let me know what you're doing today, comment below. And yeah, and I hope, you know, you guys are encouraged by this as well. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.